Hi there, it's Chris from the Cat Blue Rhino Safaris. Uh, let me quickly go through the Botswana tour for 2019. Oh, Botswana Khalakhadi tour for 2019. And um, let's uh, see what we have installed for our 2019 trip. 2019 trip. Uh, just on my new website again, if you haven't seen it yet, I've got the carousel with all the trips at the top. And uh, the menu there, you have the 2018 tours, which is coming to a close, 2019. What you need, your preparation pages are all there. So let's have a look at it. Blue Rhino 2019 tour plan for Kachalachad in southern Namibia. Uh, I tried it out last year for the first time. It was really uh, a wonderful trip. Everybody enjoyed it. So um, this year it is on again, uh, or next year, 2019. And uh, I already have some bookings for the trip itself. So, uh, so let's have a look at the at the trip itself. The uh, departure date, 4th of March. I moved it a little bit later. Uh, it used to be in February. I have a show to do in February in the Cape, so um, I can't do it in February. But it is on the 4th of March. Uh, 12 nights, of which the last five is in Namibia. It's camping. Um, we are visiting parks. We are doing eco routes. So the price is slightly higher than you would expect. But uh, in Mabuasubi, we are on an exclusive eco route, and that does cost a little bit of money. 1,200 kilometers, uh, kids can come along 12 plus. We do have a few nights um, that's very remote, so I don't want children there that's too young. Uh, no catering, maximum will be 12 people for the trip itself. Uh, so I have 10 there, um, I'll probably push it up to 12. I have two campsites generally. And I can only take six people per campsite. This is the page for Kahalakari in southern Namibia. Susus Flay. If you haven't been there, this is what Susus Flay looked like from the top of the dune. If you haven't climbed the dune yet, that's a job and a half. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, a really nice trip. Let's get to the map and uh, we can discuss the map a little bit. Itinerary is on the website, so you can have a look at the itinerary uh, at your leisure. So we all meet up at Uppington, as I said on the 4th of March 2019, we all meet up at, at Uppington, we sleep there for the first night. The next morning we we'll make our way into Terefiren, where we do our border post uh, formalities to go into Namibia. And um, we then set off uh, into the park. We sleep our first night at Nossop campsite, well, it's the first night in the park at Nossop campsite. A uh, lovely campsite, it's legendary. So very nice to, to stay there for night number one. The next day we head off to Mabua Suhubi area and we sleep in Matopi for the second night. Um, it's quite a long sand road, so it's nice to break up the, the day with the Matopi um, sleep. So uh, facilities there are uh, long drop toilets, very clean long drop toilets and um, shower cubicles. If there's no shower, shower cubicle, then I take one along and we have enough, um, or we have the, the uh, facilities to take a shower with. Once we've been to Matopi, we go up to uh, one of the most beautiful pans in the area. Uh, my favorite spot to sleep in, and we'll be there for two nights. Two nights just to take a little bit of a break, uh, go out for a drive, just enjoy the day, uh, relax a little bit, and uh, then after the second night uh, in Mabuasubi, we start our return back to Nosop. But on the return, we do the eco route. And on that eco route, we sleep one night in the eco route itself. As I said, that does make it a little bit more expensive, but it's really nice to, to do that eco route itself. So one night on the eco route, and then we are back in Nosop again. We'll be in Nosop quite early in the, in the afternoon, maybe 12, just after 12 o'clock. And it means that you have a bit of time if you want to drive up to um, Union's End or just on that road a little bit, you can do that but we sleep in Nossop for the night, on that night. Once we're done there, we take the scenic route around, we head up to Matamata, we sleep another night at Matamata, and then we exit South Africa into Namibia at Matamata. We follow the gravel roads, tar roads, all the way up to Sesrim, and um, Sesrim and Susus Flay. So we sleep two nights at Susus Flay. First night, uh, or the, the day after the first night, we will go into Susus Flay, 
uh, that picture I showed you at the top of the dunes. We will be there. Nice pictures. We'll do an early morning thing, maybe at 6.37 ish. Uh, we'll be in Susus Flay. And then around about lunchtime, we're back. Back at camp, relax a little bit for the afternoon. There's a swimming pool there. So nice to just chill a little bit. And uh, then that evening, we will go for a dinner. Everybody interested, uh, come along. There's a nice lodge there with very nice buffet dinner. Uh, it's not included, but uh, it's money well spent for a nice dinner. Next day, we travel up uh, down uh, on the side of the Namib Desert towards Aus. Aus, we pass up to Ludritz, have a look around at Ludritz, and then come back from Ludritz to Aus, where we sleep for the night. Next morning, we are out to the Fish River, down, sleep at the Fish River, have a look at the Fish River, uh, take some pictures, spend a bit of time there, relax, just have a little bit of a chill, and then um, off we go. And that basically is the the whole uh, trip, uh, 12 nights, uh, and it's in March, 4th of March. There will be a braai night on one of the nights. A braai night normally is where I do pup and sauce, and uh, if you have a bit of meat, then uh, you could just need to braai the meat, and we all braai as a group. As I say, I provide the pup and sauce, and you just uh, you just do the braaiing for yourself. Uh, I'm not sure which one it will be. Probably it be at the Nosop, um, one of the Nosop nights, probably the second Nosop night. Uh, either that or Mata Mata. So there will be a braai night in there as well. Um, yeah, so join the join the trip if you uh, if you haven't done this one yet. It really is a is a very nice trip. Um, there was. Uh, some eland on that previous picture that's one of the in one of the pans uh, surrogate the meerkat secretary bird a few nice pictures that you can look at and of course this is fly itself you know, don't need to have any experience i am there i take all my equipment with and worst case that we'll have is just a bit of sand driving so um yeah i'll tell you everything about sand driving it's it's not difficult but yeah, join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, next year, March. Mark the date. Cheers.